Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I have predicted since day one of this feature being implemented and uh, part of this prediction has come to fruition as of yesterday. Uh, so, you know, and you guys probably already know this. We're talking about uh, GTA Plus and the most recent price hike. Uh, yes, as I predicted from day one, right? Uh, the price has gone up. It is now $7.99 per month. It went from $5.99 to $7.99. So it's $6 to $8, right? Uh, that's basically a 33% increase. That's pretty substantial. That's way, way more than inflation, right? Uh, that's a big chunk right there. The reason I'm making this video is, one, you know, many people have asked me my thoughts on this since it happened. Uh, but two, and, and most importantly, is I need you guys to understand that where I'm coming from on this. Now, listen, you know, it's your money. Do whatever you want, right? And I, I know it sounds like I'm just bashing on, you know, Rockstar and GTA Plus. And I love Rockstar. I love the development team. I love they do their, their games have they're, they're life changing games. They're awesome. I, I really and I, I know that they probably hate to see me talk about this and my thoughts and, and my feelings on it. And uh, no, I do not have GTA Plus, and I do not support it as in the state that it's in right now. And many other GTA YouTubers will talk about it. They'll talk, you know, down on it or whatever. But they, they have GTA Plus. They don't put their money where their mouth is. They talk to talk, but they won't walk to walk, right? Uh, you know, because they want to get those skins, they want to get those paints and stuff like that. Uh, but again, it's not even about it's. It's not about the money, right? You know, it's it's not about me. You know, my predictions coming true. This is this is pretty easy to predict. You know, it's a telltale sign, and this is something I've said, right? This is a telltale sign that we see. You know, but this is the problem. This is what I'm talking about here. We, and and when I say we, I mean primarily you guys, right? You are allowing them, you know, Rockstar and other developers to change the gaming landscape, and they're going to nickel and dime us, all, you know, from here. All the way, as far as they possibly can. They're, they're going to make us give till it hurts, right? And, you know, and they're, they're trying to change up the whole entire, uh, you know, landscape of the gaming environment to where we don't just pay for a, a video game. We're also paying monthly to enjoy the game. It's, uh, it, it's, it's getting closer and closer to a pay-to-win system. It's a, mobile, it's a mobile games format, right? This is how video, this is how games on your cell phone work, right? It's free to play. In, in console, though, it won't be free to play. But then you have to pay for, you know, gems or rubies to speed up progression. Yeah, if, you don't have to buy it, but it'll take you 50, 60, 70 hours longer to do anything. You know, we're all familiar with that format. And so we're allowing that to happen to console, and that should not be the case. And it starts small, just 6 bucks a month, right? Uh, and now we're seeing, you know, more and more uh, business bonuses being allocated for gta plus and i have to give credit where credit's due i'm so glad rockstar has you know they're they're putting the the businesses back uh, for for money bonuses for everybody to enjoy last week bunker this week the ceo crates the special cargo that is critical look how much you know enthusiasm and uh, just straight up joy it's brought the community we love this you know it's part of having fun with this game and again, I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. You do whatever you want. It is your money. You earn it. You do what you want. You want to get GTA Plus, do it. You don't, great, even better, right? And I know people are like, Ty, well, you're, you're always pushing, you know, your membership, Tylerius Plus. Yeah, and I, I do push that, and I always will. You know, <laughs> my to the Tylerius Plus membership, that's five bucks a month, right? And you know, I've got tiers on my system as well, on my membership program. You, you know what I use that money for, though? you know buy groceries pay bills you know it has allowed me to reinvest into my stream setup i just recently purchased a better you know a streaming camera you know i'm trying to save up and and make a move to get a better pc so i can do more things for my stream and my setup right you know things like that it's i'm not a multi-billion dollar company you know i would absolutely support gta plus if they didn't make it to where they kind of split the player base, right? If they made it to where it was early access for some of these skins and weapons, you know, you, you know, people get it for the first couple of months and then everybody gets it. And then we, you know, because all these things that we get on GTA or that you get on GTA Plus, 
we used to get for free. We just had to unlock them via in-game challenges, scavenger hunts, do this, do that, you know. And that that was fun. And that that's what really drives engagement on the game, right? You know, a hundred car garage. We would all love the extra garage space, especially when you take you know when Rockstar removes two hundred cars for absolutely no reason. The cars are still in the game, you know. They're not saving any space. They're not streamlining anything, you know. So. And then it's, it's, it's fear of missing out, right, when they do put them out in Simeon showroom or, you know, test track vehicle or something like that. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a little disingenuous on their part with that. You know, these are things that we all used to get and enjoy them in the game for free via DLCs, uh, you know, via, you know, uh, unlocking them with game challenges. And I'm okay with microtransactions. I'm okay with shark cards. That allows us to have that. I would be okay with GTA Plus if they, uh, you know, allowed us to have these things. It was more like an early access. And, you know, what if they gave the developers, you know, what if they gave them a percentage? I would support that. You know, the people that are working hard. I'm, I know they get paid great, you know. They get paid awesome. But why can't they take a share of that? You know, I think that would be something that would be really cool. I would support that definitely, you know, 100%. Uh, so, you know, if those two, just those two things right there, if, if you know, if it was just like a early access for people who had it and then everybody got a chance to enjoy this stuff later on at a later date and then they gave the devs some some love and support you know i think that would be a great thing to push more uh support for this you know feature right um you know so it's just you know it's like i sound like you know i'm like oh i'm trying to rub it everybody oh i see i, I told you so right and well yes there's a little bit of that right you know, one of my biggest curses is that, you know, I, I try and give advice and people just don't listen, you know. But um, so the first part of this, yeah, they've raised the price. And we've seen they're adding more stuff to it. They're adding, you know, other games right to uh, the, the GTA trilogy. Red Dead Redemption has been added to it. But don't forget, guys, you already pay for either Xbox subscription or a PlayStation subscription to get a lot of these games. So now... We're paying twice. We're paying two subscriptions to get games that have already been out, that we've already, you know, played and beat, you know, for years and, you know, they've been out for years and years, right? Uh, you know, so and there's still so many things that need to be fixed with the current game and, and there will probably be things that need to be fixed with the, you know, the, the future you know, GTA, you know, 6 title. So, you know. I do believe that this price, this this price hike is this is not the last, right? I, I now I predict that it'll probably stay the 799 for I'd say probably six months to a year. Uh, I do think that they're going to rebrand it within that time. They're going to rebrand it from GTA Plus to like uh, probably like Rockstar Games Plus, like RSG Plus, right? Or like you know R Plus or something like that, Rockstar Plus, whatever. You know, because now they're, they're they're doing more things and just adding stuff for, for Grand Theft Auto. Right. And then eventually, you know, I, I, I just tweeted out not too long ago there'd be a price hike to ten ninety nine. I still believe that it'll go from seven ninety nine, uh, maybe to 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 ten ninety nine or nine ninety nine in that range. There will be a tiered system, it'll be like, you know, six bucks, eight bucks, you know, eleven bucks or whatever, and you'll get you know, you may not get as much. Uh, depending on what tier you get. So I think that those these are all possibilities, right? These are all things that we've already seen happen. And the, not only in the industry, in the gaming industry, but in just the, the entertainment industry, you know, as a whole. Right? So, you know, I, I, just, yeah, I need you guys to understand that this is what's happening. This is what we are, or what, again, this is what you guys are allowing, you that are, that are buying into this. Uh, this you're allowing this to happen, and they're gonna keep on tugging and pulling, and <laughs> no ditty, um, until we finally stand up as a community and say enough is enough. And listen, Rockstar has, they have bent, and they have bowed to the community before, years and years and years ago. They tried to shut out, you know, the 5M server. They tried to shut them down and close them out, and the GTA Online community, rightfully so, stood up and uh, they flooded the Rockstar games, the, the GTA Online, you know, the uh, the ratings review page or whatever, and they just dropped it down real low. You know, Rockstar got the message and they actually backed off. And then now look what happened. They finally worked it out and they paid those people. They, you know, the they bought the 5M servers, you know, the people that did that, very talented. They got paid. Then that's the way it should have happened. They got paid for their for their content and for their, you know, what they've created. So just let me wrap this up. It's already been, you know, five minutes longer than what I thought this was going to be. 
But, um, you know, again, do what you want. Do, you know, if you want GTA Plus, do this. Just understand what is happening and where the gaming industry will be going if you continue to allow these practices by companies like Rockstar. And I have, I have to make it clear, you know, I love Rockstar games. I love the development team. I love the games they put out. It's life-changing. It's been, you know, it's so, so much fun. And I love the community. And, you know, I, I always give them credit where credit's due. Always. You guys know that. I always, you know, applaud them for doing good stuff. But I always do, you know, check them when I feel like it needs to be checked as well. There's no, you know, there's no love law. I'm, not, just, I'm coming from a, a place of love with this. I really am. You know, uh, so just understand that. And this this is where, you know, this is this is what's happening. You know, this is the, so just understand that. This, and if you're okay with it, then by, by all means, keep on, you know, doing what you're doing, right? But if you, you know, if you want to change it, if you want to, you know, protect the sanctity, you know, if you will, of the, you know, the console gaming environment um, that we, that we've always had, you know, in the, in the past, what we've, we've held so dear, then you have to, you have to make a stand, you know, you have to talk out about it like I'm doing, you have to put your money where your mouth is, you have to put your, your, your mind to purpose, you have to let your actions speak, right? If you're going to talk to talk, you got to walk the walk. So there you guys have it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Is this a big deal? Do you care about the price hike? Blah, blah, blah. You know, what, what do you think? Do you, do you agree with me? Do you think that this is slowly eroding away at the gaming industry and making it more, you know, pay to win and more subscription based and just, you know, nickel and diamond us every chance they get? Let me know what your thoughts are. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the Illustrious content in the game. Smash, I mean, it's supposed to smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Peace out. Yeah.